Okay, so since I haven't seen many reviews of the SRX400, if any at all, um, I wanted to talk about a little bit of this base. Uh, this base, uh, by the serial number, was made in 2006. I got it brand spanking new. Apparently it was like stored in a container. It still had the original battery from like 2008 or something like that. Like the expiration date said, uh, said 2008. <clears throat> well, the instrument, as you can see, is like brand spanking new. It even has the same, uh, the plastic. Um, the, there's a plastic here too on the little truss rod cover. Uh, there is only a, sing, a a small, small little detail that tells you how old this base is. There's a screw behind one of the tuner, uh, the machine heads that's rusted out, but it's just one. It's only one of them. I don't know what happened to the others that aren't rusted out. Anyway, so the thing with this base uh, is that it does it does have a preamp. It's active. It requires a nine volt. That's like somewhere in here behind it, like at the back of the base, right on right under my finger. Um, and what the the preamp does. I know it says tone. It's not a tone knob. Uh, this is not a tone knob. This is uh, this is kind of wrong because it doesn't change the tone in a way that you would think. What what this preamp does, the Ibanez Fat 2 preamp does, is as you roll it in, it removes mids and adds bass and treble. So if you have it matched out, you have a basically a V-shaped sound in a graph which means a lot of top end and a lot of low end. As you roll it back in, I always have it on a five, so I have like a nice little middle ground to work with. It gives me the best of both worlds, a good amount of mids and a good amount of bass and treble. So it's a nice like little balanced sound. If you put it on one, it sounds kind of thinnish. Uh, it's good for a slap, but it's not very, it doesn't have much oomph to it, you know? It's great for like practicing and stuff if you, want, if you don't want to annoy your neighbors or something. I run this thing through a dark glass uh, Microtube Speed 3K into a Marshall M MB30, which is what I use to practice. But when I'm recording, I generally just put it on the, on the Ampeg SVT plugin through my interface, you know? Like it's not, not rocket science, just interface. Uh, plugging in into a DAW so that's that should be it for me in that regard sometimes I, do, I just prefer to upload the processing or the sound to the amp so my computer doesn't shit out and doesn't do all kinds of weird stuff but yeah um, if you can get this base go ahead and get it if you can find them because they're so rare now they're hard as hell to find it literally took me like a year and a half to find this one and when I came across one, it slipped out of my hands, and then another one came up. That all, that other one also slipped out of my hands. I couldn't get it, but now I have this one, so it sounds pretty good. Have it on drop D. You know, right now, I have it on drop D because I'm doing some Avenged Sevenfold covers and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully, um, yeah. Uh, and you can have a look, it still has a plastic on the pickup. It's pretty much intact. Yeah. No flaws. Basically no flaws. It's it's immaculate. It's a green... Uh, green? Why am I saying green? <laughs> it's a red... Uh, candy apple red flat, similar to another Ibanez base that I do have. Which I'm gonna show in a minute. Which is this one. Uh, it's an Ibanez GSR320 Candy Apple Red. Uh, mine is the Geo series, so it's a lower end one, but it's, it sounds amazing though. I need to change its strings because it sounds like shit already, but it's quite a neat little bass. It's passive, it doesn't have anything weird or complicated going on, but you know, it's a nice little bass. So, yeah, two different basses. Both, this one's more like a jazz bass, of course, because of the pickups and the volume and tone, volume, volume, tone arrangement. This one's trying to either mimic a Music Man or a Modulus bass. To me, it sounds more like a Modulus than a, than a Music Man. 
but it does everything that a modulus does at like a tenth of a price probably uh, it's it's amazing I recommend it if you can get it um, it's worth it um, as I said the preamp works by removing mids and boosting bass and treble so you don't really it's basically good for you if you wanna scoop the mids um, I always keep it on, on 5 as I said for a happy middle ground but yeah it's not rocket science man it's quite a, actually quite a great amplifier preamplifier the preamp it's like this little it's like this big behind the knob it's actually the knob itself but yeah I it, it's really good um, there's various colors of this one I just happened to find one in red and in silver which was the one that I wanted but there's like in silver with like a white perloid pick guard there's green there's deep blue there's a bunch of colors but it's worth it if you can find one of those uh, I mean I definitely recommend it pull the trigger on that one it's really good so yeah this should be it just me talking random shit about my my new base but yeah good stuff it's good stuff